Hi everybody, it's Justina coming to you from Consensus 2022 and I am joined here by a special guest. David Shin, hi everyone. Good to uh, be a part of the uh, program. Yeah, and uh, we had an interesting discussion earlier today about how he's been building out his team. So why don't you get into that for us? Um, yeah, so I, uh, I work for a, a company called Clayton Foundation. We are Kakao's blockchain. Kakao is uh, a very large Web2 company out of Korea. Um, when I joined Clayton last uh, August, uh, it was pretty much my mission to try and get more females into blockchain. Uh, so with different types of headcount, whether it was a marketing headcount or business development or engineering even, uh, I tried to fill as many of those roles with qualified uh, females as I could. So off the back of that, a year later, um, or almost a year later, about 50% of the 25 plus people I have on my team are, are ladies. That's so awesome. And you're a fellow Canadian. I'm a fellow Canadian, indeed. That's awesome. And so why don't you tell the audience about like what makes uh, what you're doing unique in the space, given it's so, uh, you know, male dominated one, but two also how uh, you guys are working within the ecosystem in Asia. Um, yeah, I, I think one thing we want to do that's unique, I guess, uh, given it is male dominated is to try and create more of a, a leadership path or a roadmap for for the, uh, the, the women uh, employees that we bring in. Um, I think it's, a, it's one thing to, to bring in and pump up numbers and say 50%, uh, but it's another thing to talk more about the roadmap that they all have to leadership, which I, I find is the most important thing. So uh, we, we work on that with all the different uh, uh, female employees that we bring in. Uh, I'm very clear with each of them where I, I see their sort of you know, their, their destination going from, if it was baseball, like first base, second base, third base, and then around home. Um, so we create a culture where uh, for these ladies who come in, we're not just giving them jobs, but we're giving them a career path in blockchain. So that's the first thing. The second thing is around, you know, what we're doing in Asia, um, we're now effectively the only layer one blockchain out of Asia. Uh, we're definitely the only one in Korea, but in the broader region, we're pretty much the only layer one that's relevant at the moment. Uh, and so a lot of liquidity in crypto sits in the US and in Asia, but given China has been uh, closed for business with regulation clamping down, um, the second largest liquidity pool is Korea. So there's a lot of interest in Korea at the moment. And so we're, we're in a very good situation in that regard. So we're, we're really trying to leverage that. And that's why we're here uh, in, uh, at Consensus in Austin to really get our name and brand out there with the American counterparts so they know that we're out there in Asia. That's awesome. And I think maybe for those who don't know, uh, can you go into like how the users can use uh, what you do on an application layer? Yeah, so there's a lot of different use cases. Um, I guess I'll talk about the ones that we prioritize at the moment in terms of how we fund projects. Uh, we like the gaming use case. Uh, we think that there's a, you know, what we call a lot of rollover adoption that can happen. Um, so what I mean by that is it's very natural for gamers to, to be interested in Web3 and vice versa. Uh, and so that's a, that's a pretty important uh, use case that we look at. We try and fund projects that are bringing good games onto Clayton. The second one is around entertainment. So we, we think that the entertainment industry uh, is going to have a Web3 moment, like finance did. Um, this is everything from music to art to concerts. Um, and we really like using NFTs as a, a, a ticketing solution for, for that particular entertainment use case. So we've spoken to various different um, music, like music.com, which is Pharrell Williams' uh, company, is integrating into Clayton. We, uh, we also have been speaking to Ultra Music Festival about doing something on the metaverse and using NFTs as a ticketing solution. So uh, things like this, um, we, we feel those two areas are, are of high importance to us. That's awesome. And any uh, announcements 
that you've had this year and during consensus that are worth mentioning here? Um, yeah, I mean, ones that we had recently was uh, we have a, a big partnership with uh, GMO Internet, which is a listed company in Japan. Uh, they're quite big. They have two um, New York DFS regulated stablecoin. One is a yen stablecoin and one is a US dollar stablecoin that they're bringing over from Ethereum to Clayton. Um, you know, the, the other announcement that uh, we're about to make, um, and it's actually a bit of a first here, so you guys get dibs on it, is uh, OpenSea, uh, who is a, a, a very big partner of ours, um, they've agreed to do their very first NFT conference outside of the US in Korea in October with us. Uh, so we're very much looking forward to that. And then the last thing is something that's coming up in December. Um, as most of your viewers know, and as you know, Miami has become the crypto hub mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of things in the US. Uh, they've done an NFT week. They've done a Bitcoin conference. Uh, the next big thing that they're doing is uh, Meta Week. So this is like the Metaverse week for them in the city. Uh, this is going to happen in December and Clayton uh, hasn't announced yet, but Again, it's a first for your show. Uh, we will be the main sponsor for that. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah I just saw that conference. I, uh, I sent in my application for speaking. There you go. So there you go, I do know about yeah. it. Awesome, well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely wonderful. And we'll stay connected. Thanks, guys. Thank you, that was fun. That was